So what does Aries need to know about their current love situation at this time? Let's see what Aries needs to know at this time. Oh dear. Aries, are you in a love triangle currently? I feel you rejected a love triangle situation. And I feel if you were married, you're in the middle of getting divorced because of a love triangle. And I feel this person married you or you married them for money. This sounds like your love story. Continue watching. Hi, my name is Deirdre. I'm a sixth generation psychic. Not only do I pull angel tarot cards in reference to your love story, but I mostly channel messages from your angels and spirit guides. Holy smokes. If you're in the middle of a divorce, Aries, I feel there's some fighting over the children or custody of the children. I feel they have a lot of toxic people around them. Now, if you're not married and you're not going through child services and all that, or I, it could just represent just abuse that this person you're with and you're in the middle of a breakup was very, very toxic. I do feel that the relationship was so toxic, it really forced you to overthink uh, about this person. They just kept you always in your head over or analyzing and it's so not you. I feel this person's stalking you, by the way. They're stalking your social media, Aries. And by the way, maybe your person's an Aries. I feel this person is just a time waster. They don't want to work on themselves. They blame you for everything, right? Now, it says thief. I don't get they're a thief, although they could be a thief. I just feel like they just, you know, you feel like you're at a loss is what I'm getting more so in this card. You know, this person, they were just... There was emotional abuse there is what I'm getting. And because of that, they, you know, you're just looking to move on. I, I think you just, you don't want to rekindle with this person. Uh, I feel this person, a lot of drama, caused a lot of drama in your life. And I just keep getting an upset stomach. Please take what resonates and leave the rest if this is your first time watching me, Aries. I just feel like you're moving on. This person just kept you up at night. And, um... I hope, you know, again, this is a general reading, but I hear some of you, they might have stole some money or assets of some sort, and you're holding a grudge towards them right now because of what they did to you, what they said to you. This person had a huge ego. Let's just say they have a huge ego, um, flirted a lot. How annoying. I keep seeing like even going out to dinner, whether you're married or just dating, they just constantly were looking for attention is what I see. And they are, I keep getting the stalker card. They've created fake accounts to see what you're up to. Um, they, I feel they're, I think you found out who they really were. I just get that they always pretended they were somebody else. And right now you are just moving forward, working on you, acting like, you know what? I'm unbothered. I, I'm not dealing with this person anymore. I think you're, I just get you're in recovery mode now. This person uh, is always partying. Do you see them on social media? They're always out and about trying to act like, you know, oh, look at me. I'm out. I moved on, you know. Um, nonsense. That's what I'm going to tell you. Nonsense. Yeah, they're acting like, oh, I'm not interested. I'm out. Oops, sorry. I'm not having fun with my friends. I don't care that I got in a breakup. Mm, yeah, okay. Well, meanwhile, you were left out in the cold. Um, I just feel like you just, you just feel like taken advantage of. You're like, this person's true colors finally came out. They, they're they not a good person, by the way, Aries. Let me see what else they want to tell you. Actually, we're going to move on to the twin flame deck. Um, I'm sorry. Let me see what else. Okay. So what else do you need to know about this person, Aries? What else do you need to know about this person? A lot of difficulties with them. A lot of jealousy. Um, I just get jealousy from others. <sighs> Did they have an affair with somebody like a friend? Um, it's kind of what, or a neighbor is what I'm getting. I feel that in order for you to like get your life back in order to bring back balance into your life, um, you have to, you have to set up boundaries from here forward. I just feel like you're such a sweet person that you just let people kind of step all over you. Um, and people take, unfortunately your kindness for weakness a lot. So I feel like you're not going back with this person. It's done. It's a done deal. And you're starting to learn about law of attraction. If you don't know about law of attraction, I'll say this before you 
go on a dating app and are open to go dating others, you need to raise your vibe. That's called law of attraction. Meaning that if you go on a dating app right now and you're still in the effects of this very toxic relationship that just ended or getting ready to, guess what you're going to manifest? People down here. So what you need to do is I would take some time to heal. And everybody has a different time period, how long it takes them to truly heal. How do you know you healed somebody? Well, every time you hear their name or you, um, it doesn't bother you anymore. That's the difference. And you have to stay optimistic now because angels and guides are bringing somebody amazing in for you. And now you're going to have your ears and eyes wide open to paying attention to the red flags now. No more difficult paths. You've done your homework. You've um, fulfilled your karma. No more. And now you are bringing in unconditional love. Yes, you are. So every time you think of something negative like this person who did you over, now you can redirect those negative thoughts and now just focus on your future. Guess what? You're going to bring in, just they keep saying, stay optimistic. Stay optimistic. They want you to take a leap of faith with your future. Don't feel like that's it. I'm never dating again. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm done. No, this person was brought in your life for a reason, for lessons learned. And you learned them. There is no accident that this person was ever in your life. Not at all. And the reason why you had such a deep connection with your ex or this person I'm talking about is because you guys were definitely connected in a past life. It's like you've known this person before. That's why it was deep rooted. And it was, you had unfinished business from other lifetimes. That's why you had to reconnect in this lifetime to finish it off. And now it's done. It's finito. Just take some time to heal. That's it. Open yourself to others. It doesn't have to be right this second. But do not shut your heart down because you are going to reach your goals, both financially and um, some of you also want to buy a new home. They're saying yes within the next eight months, seven months, seven, eight months, and you're going to meet somebody new. I'm going to get a time period right here when you're going to meet somebody now. All right. When are they going to meet somebody now? This beautiful, loving soulmate. We're not talking about the frogs because you'll meet a couple of them. And the next year looks promising. One more card. When are they going to meet their true soulmate and get in a relationship? Right now, I know time feels frozen. See the number five, five. It means a lot of changes have to happen first before you're going to meet this next person. One more card. One more card. Have faith. Divine timing is at play. Okay, that's, that's what they want to say. They don't want you to get too caught up on the time zone, but I do feel if you work on yourself, open your heart and heal within a year, you're going to meet somebody new. Thanks again for watching. Let me know in the comment section if any of this resonated with you, Aries. Also, if you can help me build my channel here on YouTube. I'm brand new here on YouTube. I would really appreciate if you love this content or like the content, if you could like and subscribe to my page. And if you would like a private psychic reading, there's a link in the description below that will take you to my official website at deirdrerame.com. Thanks again for watching.